Okay, um, what I want to talk about now is how we can take digital photographs um, either directly from the camera and uh, uh, download them to your desktop where you can edit the pictures or you can actually do it from the photo manager. So here we have a case of an inspection where we have uh, a number of photos already imported. So let's just go over to the photo manager. And let's say that uh, we want to use uh, photo numbers, number six. Um, we can take this photo and we can say we want to export that photo. So we'll just take that photo out to our desktop and we'll save that photo. And you'll see photo number six here is on our desktop. So if you haven't already installed the image editor, uh, we recommend Image Edit Lite, which you can you can find on the web on the web at www.whispersolutions.com. It's a, it's a a free program, and all you have to do is just click down here, download it, save the file on your desk. It only takes just a few seconds, and once it's saved, just double click, run it. click next just use your default locations and finish that's all there is to it just a few seconds and you can have it installed and ready to go now I'm going to go back to the desktop and now you see we have our uh, icon here for whisper image editor all you have to do is take the photo drag it over the icon and drop it that'll launch the program and you'll see a, a nice up close uh, picture of what you want to mark. So you can see here that we've got uh, these uh, mud tubes coming right up to the floor and you have some pretty bad activity right, right taking place here. So you can do a number of things. You've got tools over here on the left. So let's just say you want to you grab this arrow tool and you bring it over here and you can grab the end of it and you, you can swing it around bring it in, bring it out, however you want. And then if you want to, uh, maybe you want to use a circle. You could you could bring a circle and do, this, do the same thing with that. So see how easy that is. And any of these tools, again, have handles. And you can change the shape, rearrange it. And you can also uh, change color and that sort of thing. So in this in this particular case, I'm just going to move this around. You can see we have some some damage here, and then if I want to use put some text on here, and I can just type in uh, note wood damage. Hit the enter key, and you can put the put the text on this anywhere it, you want. Once you're once you're done with that, and like I said, you can change the text by uh, uh, here. You can change what color it is, the font sizes, and all of that, um, and even the actual uh, font itself. And you notice the captions here. You can save the captions and, and use those over and over again. So all we have to do now is just say file, and we're going to save this. And what we've just done is we can now we can close this window. We're done with it. And the actual image that we started off with here on the desktop, if we open it up, you see it has all these changes already made to it. So all we have to do is return here to the photo manager, come down to photo number six and say replace photo. And I want to replace it. And we're going to use photo number six from our desktop. And you can see here that now that that photo is inserted, and we return to the report the, that we now have the uh, the picture in the photo manager. And when you go to print your your uh, pictures with your report, they'll appear right along with it. So just we'll just do a print print a report. I'm going to say no to the addendum. And note of the graph. We're just going to print the report with the photos.
PC, page one, page two, and then we have our photos here, and you, you notice that the photo we just edited now appears with the rest of them. So it's just that easy, um, easy way to uh, annotate and uh, mark up your pictures.